Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, video we're doing on Sobble's Watch for today's uh, video. So we're not doing a live stream uh, tonight, but uh, we are going to bring you uh, on Sobble's Watch. We're going to go through all members of the uh, GFS uh, ensembles. That's all 30 members of them, as well as the operation run, and we'll see what they're all uh, saying. We'll have a look at 12Z as well. So it's going to be an interesting update. We'll be in signs of cold weather as we move ahead into February. We'll have a look in a moment. So the first video to say uh, was our 6M upload, and also... 10 to 14 days so please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that please like share subscribe on the videos and thank you so much everybody uh, for doing this for gals i so having a lovely sunny evening and uh, again sorry about uh, no no um live streams uh you know just one of those things um so uh so yeah uh there's been a little bit going on here at gals Lovey's towers over the past a day or two i think it's fine but uh it just meant that i couldn't do on souls watch uh, tonight but i hope everybody uh understands that right let's crack on then with uh, on souls watch we're going to begin by having a look at the gfs uh, 12z operational room uh, this is how it's uh, looking at the moment because we're in a ridge of high pressure bringing a lot of the uh, dry weather across the country all bit very cloudy uh, weather now as we push on through the next few days that area of high pressure will continue up to around the middle of the week then begin to weaken slightly for another ridge tries to get in from off the atlantic but all looking rather flat doesn't it i mean um right way up to next weekend generally high pressure lurking just to our west and to our southwest too uh high pressure still knocking around <laughs> up today 10 that's the second of uh, february to high centered over france reaching in to most parts of the country what happens after that high pressure high pressure Starts to reach north. It looks like it's going to have a go at building up a Scandinavian high. So we're giving it a really good go there around 6th of February to get a Scandi high going. In fact, we do get a Scandinavian high going, albeit it's quite a weakish one. It's not a traditional sort of Scandi. But for a day or so, we do actually get a Scandinavian high before the next low pressure starts moving in from off the Atlantic. And we finish up with a little bit of a battle going on. It's the 8th of February. We've got high pressure over Scandinavia, uh, low pressure out of the Atlantic. We're under this low pressure really by that point. You're rather wet and windy, but high pressure is lurking just to our east northeast. I bet that's very close with the cold air. Let's have a very quick look at the upper air temperatures. So uh, here we go. That's same of February day 10, looking pretty mild uh, then. But uh, look, it's deep cold pool. We have City Charlie. If we could get a Scandi going, the cold is there to our east when it gets any further uh, than the North Sea. No, it doesn't, so the cold air to the east remains in the North Sea and just to our east up to the end of the GFS run. Most parts of Europe, especially east and south of Europe, again, are uh, absolutely plunged into the freezer. Right, let's start going from the ensembles then. So this is ensemble member number one. And uh, we'll go here, let's see. No, it's not. This is your control run, I should say. Getting ahead of myself. This is the GFS control run. It will start these from about 96 hours. We know what's going on in the uh, immediate future, don't we? So let's start from 96 hours. Uh, right, okay. So high pressure will be to our south and southwest uh, next weekend. Low pressure to our north and northeast with the GFS control run. High pressure which is in across the country. Uh, around day 10 or much in line with uh, you know what the operational run is doing high pressure keeps dominating the weather really through the first week of February we don't get rid of it right at the very end we begin to bring some lower pressure in from off the Atlantic that's like another 10 days or so of anti-cyclonic weather the high pressure of doom uh, ensemble member number one uh, looks like this high pressure this is ensemble member number one for real this time high pressure just uh, over the country or around the country into next weekend that carries on into the closing days of uh, January as well, by the way. Uh, and then heading up towards uh, day 10, or just beyond day 10, heights begin to rise to the north. Winds going into the north slightly, so becoming more blocked and colder with winds going into the north and northeast with ensemble member number one. So that just unleash, uh, that does unleash winter for the uh, final week of, uh, or for the first week, I should say, of um, February. Look at that cold air pushing southwards with those northerly, northeasterly uh, winds. So uh, winter arrives with ensemble member number one the first week of February. Ensemble member number two uh, looking like this. So uh, again, lots of anticyclonic influences over the uh, next few days. Into next weekend, a little bit cooler, more showery with northwesterly winds. We keep low pressure rolling in off the Atlantic right way up to the very end of ensemble member number two. So that one definitely doesn't get cold at any point. Ensemble member number three looks like this. Uh, once more, lots of high pressure 
over the weekend and uh, through the early part of next week uh, as well. We're just going into the north with Ensemble Member number 3, so that one is also unleashing uh, some colder weather. Heights rising to our north, and we're going to more of a northerly direction through the first week of February. Um, been quite blocked, actually, and potentially setting up quite a cold and wintry pattern there. Ensemble Member number 3 through the first week of February. Ensemble Member number 4 looks like that. Again, uh, winds are in from the northwest and high pressure sitting just to our south and uh, to our southwest um, as well. Uh, this one's going to have a go at building up a Scandinavian high, but I don't think it's going to come to a great deal. The Atlantic is very powerful uh, here. However, it is turning more blocked uh, to the north and northeast. We don't get cold uh, at any point we're on some member four, but the trend is there to raise the heights a little bit towards the north and northeast. That turns very unsettled. Ensemble member number five uh, looks like that. So again, plenty of high pressure influences over the next few days. Rather stormy, low pressure diving southwards into Scandinavia uh, through early February. Um, then we're going to the north and northeast before we go flatter and west again. So it doesn't get much cold weather going, but it does have a little bit of a cold snap for about a day or two in the first week of uh, February. So I'm member number six. Uh, looks like that. So uh, again, we pull the high pressure out to uh, west and it would bring down uh, north or northeasterly. Uh, then heights rising uh, up towards Scandinavia. This is having a really good go. Uh, setting up a Scandinavian high doesn't come off. We keep weather coming in off the Atlantic, albeit it's probably rather cool. Ensemble member number seven uh, looks like that. So, again, plenty of high pressure over the weekend into the early part of next week. That high pressure uh, sticks around the country as well. So, at least up to day 10, we've got more high pressure to come. I think that's like the, the immediate time frame. Lots of high pressure. Anything cold is going to happen after that. Uh, this does turn cold again through the first week of February. Sets up high pressure between Iceland and Scotland to pull the winds in from the north and the northeast. All bit that's rather more anti cyclonic, but certainly a lot colder first week of February. Ensemble member number eight. Uh, again, lots of low pressure rolling in from off the Atlantic, uh, but high pressure is very close to because it's more unsettled really around day 10. So quite stormy and colder for a while anyway, for, uh, with winds going to north for more low pressure in off the Atlantic. King of Smile, not much in with that one. I saw member number nine, uh, looking like this, uh, rather, rather stormy maybe next weekend. So there's a bit of uncertainty about how much high pressure we have up to next weekend actually. Um, then winds going to the north around day 10 does start to become uh, colder and actually sets up quite a prolonged northerly or northeasterly blast with low pressure diving surface and high pressure sitting just well west. That's a cold ensemble member with number nine. Ensemble member number 10 uh, looks like that going northwesterly and showery uh, and staying unsettled and rather cold as well. High pressure vents sitting over country for pulling to our east and we bring up a southerly with that one. That's a different solution, a rather milder. Ensemble member number 11 uh, looks like this again rather northwesterly next weekend a little bit cooler and more showery but still we have lots of high pressure sitting just to our south and then we go cold wet and stormy really with winds in to the north and uh, just really unsettled and quite stormy uh, through the first week of February ensemble member number 11. Ensemble member number 12 again with winds in from a northwesterly uh, direction and always plenty of high pressure to our south southwest rather stormy there around the 5th of February and gradually becoming colder jet stream is beginning to slip south as well so that turns very unsettled and a little bit colder through the first week of uh, February. Ensemble member number 13 is looking like this. Plenty of uh, northwesterly influences with high pressure to our west. Next week, then the, high, then the highs back in around day 10, bringing lots of dry weather. And then in the more extended range, the heights rise again towards Greenland and winds turning to the north, northeast. It becomes a lot colder from the north and from the northeast. Ensemble member number 14 again with uh, winds in from a northwesterly direction and then heights building up from the south around day 10 we turn increasingly wet and settled and quite cold as the jet stream begins to dig south so that's more unsettled one uh on time number 15 we're halfway through now uh so let's see what this one's doing uh on time number 15 again with high pressure just to our southwest um gradually building north as this one's trying to set up a scandy uh, is it going to get a scanning going? It does look like it more or less pulls off scanning and gets wind into the east. Just near miss, really. But, um, yeah, it does like set up a half-hearted Scandinavian high, not a classic. 
Uh, but Santiago Scarlet through the first week of February. On some moment, number 16, uh, looks like that. Again, plenty of northwesterly influences next weekend. Could be a little bit colder from those northwest winds next weekend. And then the high pressure back in to the south. Anyway, the high pressure trying to ridge to Scandinavia. Low pressure diving in from the north as we go um, up to the uh, 8th of February. We're into a plug proper cold spell then. Winds in from the north and northeast. That looks quite wintry. So a fair few ensemble members here, isn't there? Looking quite wintry in through, in through the first week of February. Uh, ensemble member number 17 with winds in from the north and uh, a little bit cold and, and uh, unsettled. Uh, then we go into like uh, westerly type flow. So this one's a milder scenario through the first week of February with number 17. Number 18 uh, looks like that. If you enjoy this ensemble's watch, please can you smash the like button, everybody. Drop a comment. Let's know about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. To all of you for doing that. On some moment, number 18 builds up Scandinavian high, or tries to, and get the wind in from the east, but still quite a bit of low pressure in the Atlantic. Um, so that's a bit like the operational run, really. Very poised uh, by the 8th of February between high pressure in Scandinavia, low pressure in the Atlantic. On some moment, number 19 uh, is looking like this. Uh, again, plenty of high pressure influences um, over the next few days. We do get a little bit of a cold snap there around the last day of January. Uh, and then we're trying to build that high pressure up to Scandinavia. It does pull off a Scandinavian high and get the wind into the east, albeit I don't think it's a particularly classic easterly. But that one does turn colder from the east through the first week of February. Ensemble member number 20, looking like this. Again, loads of high pressure influences uh, up to day 10 and beyond, actually. Plenty of anticyclonic weather. They're getting colder through the first week of February as wind turn into the north. And then high pressure is back in from off the Atlantic. That's not as cold as some of that we've seen. Ensemble member number 21, again, with high pressure just to our southwest. Uh, low pressure is uh, going to try and move in from the north. But really high pressure fest goes on. Ensemble member number 21, uh, more or less right way to the end. He is trying to get the high pressure Scandinavia, but isn't bringing it easterly. Ensemble member number 22 uh, looks like that. So once more, plenty of high pressure. <laughs> to go out right the way up to day 10. Heading out beyond that, the high pressure pulls up to Scandinavia. We have a really good go getting the wind into the east. That looks very blocked and poised to deliver a classic easterly. Ensemble member number 23 uh, is looking like this. So again, a little bit of a cooler interlude perhaps next weekend. And then heading up towards day 10, uh, we bring down colder northerly very briefly before we're back into westerlies uh, again. That's a rather milder scenario. Ensemble for the first week of February. Ensemble member number 24. Looks like that. Again, winds are in from a northwesterly direction. And then high pressure building up from the south. Generally staying anticyclonic right the way up to the 8th of February with that one. You wouldn't rule that out, really, given the persistence of the high pressure, would you? This is ensemble member number 25. Uh, again, uh, plenty of high pressure going on right the way up to day 10. Is this one going to get cold? What's it going to do? Not really going to keep wind in from the west direction. He's trying to raise the height, so, to the north and northeast. That is a trend between a lot of these ensemble members. It's just whether the heights rise enough to get the wind into the east or whether, in the end, the, height, the cold air, you know, will just sink down the eastern side of Europe again. Uh, ensemble member number 26, uh, looking like that. So, once more, very, very unsettled, quite wet. Windy with that one through the first week of February. Generally not overly cold. It's a little bit cooler in today. Ensemble member number 27. Um, once more, looking pretty anticyclonic up to day 10. Uh, I may say it's unsettled, wet and windy with lots of low pressure around all the way up to the 8th of February. Ensemble member number 28, uh, looking like this. So again, we're going to get the wind into the north briefly. And then the high pressure will slip southwards, will turn increasingly wet and windy. Quite stormy even all the way up to the 8th February. That one, ensemble member number 29, looking like this again. Rather showery and unsettled and going to get colder as well into the first week of February. Building up a proper Greenland high actually with this. Although these secondary areas of low pressure are proving a bit of a nuisance. So most of the cold air that is like to our north. But however, that one does get very blocked around Greenland. That's the first sort of Greenland high that we've seen within uh, this ensemble's watch. And then finally, ensemble member number 30. 
looks like this. So uh, let's see what it's doing then. Turns a bit northerly there on the 1st of February. A little bit of a cold snap. However, winds remain more or less from the west. And then uh, we have plenty of high pressure close to the country. Sitting just to ourselves, South East. That was a milder solution. Let's have a look at the ensemble graph before we move on. Steve out looking at London. Uh, so uh, there we go then. Um, that's how your solid graph is looking. A bit of a cooling trend. I think we can see it was see through the first week of February uh, around here. It's a very long way out though, very excellent before that. It does look pretty zonal, uh, actually. Let's have a look at some other models before we go. So uh, we'll look at Icon. Shall we do that? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Uh, right, this is how Icon is uh, looking. Um, and uh, once again, uh, lots of high pressure, you know, uh, continuing up to next weekend. Anyway, wind's going into the north and then becoming a little bit cold with Icon uh, around the final days of January as wind's in from the northwest. Not overly cold, but a little bit cooler there. Uh, this is how the UK Met Euro uh, is looking. Let's have a look at that one. Shall we see what that's doing? So, uh, again, uh, lots of high pressure pulling out to our west. So, uh, by next weekend, a little bit colder from the northwest. You might get a colder interlude, like a little cold snap uh, next weekend. That brings a little bit of winteriness into the north, anyway. Uh, this is the GEM. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, so again, the hypers just pulls out to our west a little bit next weekend, allows something a little bit colder or cooler in from uh, the north. That's how I look at day 10. So, uh, you know, it's cold across northern Europe. We're bringing like a west-northwesterly, that's chilly in the north anyway with some wintry showers. High pressure has got to pull away from Spain though to get it get wind into the north properly. So the high pressure sitting around the Bay of Biscay, around northern Spain, that's what's stopping the wind from really getting into the north. And these continuing areas of low pressure around Newfoundland and uh, southern Greenland. Right, let's see how far we've got with the uh, ECM. So we're up to 216 hours with that one. Let's see what that one's doing then. Uh, so again, lots of high pressure over next few days. Pretty mild. Not as much for northwesterly next weekend. The ECM really has become the Grinch model, hasn't it, in terms of um, tidal weather. I'm not sure why, but the ECM just will not do anything whatsoever. That's cool. It is like a very, very slight... Northwesty, ever such a slight northwesty there next Saturday, 29th of January. But any hint that we might get a northwesterly in is like it goes away, you know, it's gone. Um, and by the time you go to a day 10, it looks like we're bringing in like a mile westy again with the high pressure over northern parts of uh, France and low pressure around Iceland. Of course, the change in the GFS ensembles to anything generally colder is beyond that though, through uh, the first week of February and particularly like later on the first week of February so anything from like the 4th of February onwards to the 8th is kind of like a window for colder weather so would the ECM ever show colder weather through the first week of February will it ever show colder weather through the first week of February it does make you wonder whether it would doesn't it but um you know it's uh, it's certainly up to day nine anyway not looking particularly uh, cold. It would be nice to get the day 10 chart in, but it is just not updating. It's not refreshing. So I think we'll uh, leave it there, shall we? So uh, there we go, then. That's on someone's watch this week. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to do it uh, as a live stream, but we've done it as a video upload anyway. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, ensemble's watch. Please, uh, can you like, share, subscribe if you have. I'll just say what's coming up tomorrow on the channel. So uh, we're going to begin with the uh, 6 a.m. upload. We'll have a 10 to 14 day for you as well uh, tomorrow. So do keep checking back to the ch channel for more. We've got the day 10 chart now. Let's just have a quick look at that then. So still flats pancake at <laughs> day 10 of of February with the ECM. Uh, but that's the full sort of suite of models as well as all the ensembles um, as well. Right, so uh, there we go then. It wasn't really worth updating, <laughs> was it, to be honest? But at least you've all seen it anyway. There we go then. That's it for today's content. Hope you've enjoyed it all. Please, uh, can you like if you have? And uh, we'll be back with more videos tomorrow. And hopefully we'll be able to start live stream again on Friday and uh, next weekend, uh, next Sunday too. But for this ensemble's watch, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.